All right, we're gonna have some fun today. I saw this funny picture circulating online about the plot of Star Wars and Harry Potter. And I figured it was a great object lesson in storytelling with application to copywriters, marketers who use story selling too. Um, and I'll share the picture. If you are listening to this as an audio podcast, it is pretty much text, so I'll read it and you can get the idea. Or you can search for Roy Fur on YouTube and find the video. And hey, before we dive in, don't forget, like and subscribe. If you like this, if you want more content like this, like and subscribe, and, uh, and that way you can get more content like this. All right, let's, let's go. These are the proven direct response, marketing, copywriting, and entrepreneurship success strategies you can use today to write your own ticket and create the life you want. I am Roy Fur, and this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Now, here's today's breakthrough. All right, today's episode, as usual, is sponsored by me. And uh, today, I'm gonna link you through to my book, The Ultimate Selling Story. Uh, the URL that you can go to is ultimatesellingstory.com. The link is in the description. And the subtitle of the book is Cut Through the Marketing Clutter, Forge a Powerful Bond with Your Market, and Set Up the Sale Using the Hero's Journey of Story Selling. Check the link in the description for that. So let's talk about how Star Wars and Harry Potter are actually the same story. <laughs> here's, the, here's, the, uh, here's the picture that was circulating online. And for those of you who are listening, uh, it's basically a synopsis of Star Wars A New Hope. But a whole bunch of things are crossed out to add details for Harry Potter. So I'm going to do my best to talk through this in a way that indicates <laughs> what, uh, what it is. So Star Wars A New Hope, synopsis. Crossed out Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Synopsis. Luke Skywalker is an orphan living with his uncle and aunt on the remote wilderness of Tatooine. The replacement is Harry Potter is an orphan living with his uncle and aunt on the remote wilderness of suburbia. He is rescued from aliens by wise bearded Ben Kenobi, who turns out to be a Jedi Knight. He is rescued from muggles by wise bearded Hagrid, who turns out to be a wizard. Ben reveals to Luke that Luke's father was also a Jedi Knight, and he was the best pilot he had ever seen. Hagrid reveals to Harry that Harry's father was also a wizard and was the best Quidditch player he had ever seen. Luke is also instructed in how to use the Jedi lightsaber as he too trains to become a Jedi. Harry is also instructed in how to use a magic wand as he too trains to become a wizard. Luke has many adventures in the galaxy and makes new friends such as Han Solo and Princess Leia. Harry has many adventures in Hogwarts and makes new friends such as Ron and Hermione. In the course of these adventures, he distinguishes himself as a top X-Wing pilot in the Battle of the Death Star, making the direct hit that secures the Rebels' victory against the forces of evil. In the course of these adventures, he distinguishes himself as a top Quidditch player in the battle or in the Quidditch match, making the catch that secures Gryffindor victory against the forces of evil, Slytherin. Luke also sees off the threat of Darth Vader, who we know murdered his uncle and aunt. Harry also sees off the threat of Lord Voldemort, who we know murdered his parents. In the finale, Luke and his new friends receive medals of valor. In the finale, Harry and his new friends win the House Cup. And then, final sentence, all of this will be set to an orchestral score composed by John Williams. No changes there. All right. So, completely fun and, um, you know, just shows great parallels between these two stories. And as I was thinking about this, like, Star Wars is a, is, is a story that I actually know a lot about. I used to, like, on sick days home from school, I used to just watch the whole 4, 5, and 6 trilogy um, and, and like, it was, it was a story that I grew up with. And then later I learned actually, as I was studying psychology, that George Lucas knew Joseph Campbell and studied Joseph Campbell's work, um, especially the book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces, and learned about this, this story structure called The Hero's Journey. And he actually based Star Wars 
on the story structure laid out by Joseph Campbell. And then later, when uh, like George Lucas actually uh, hosted Joseph Campbell at George Lucas's Skywalker Ranch to, to do this whole big teaching special about his life's work. So George Lucas read uh, The Hero with a Thousand Faces and was inspired and he used it to write Star Wars. But here's the thing, like, it's not just George Lucas came up with this and then Harry Potter copied it. It's not a new story at all. Joseph Campbell, like the whole point of The Hero with a Thousand Faces is that this story is a human story that has existed in culture for thousands of years. Like it's, it's, ah. And so much smart storytelling uses the hero's journey either consciously or unconsciously. And that's why, for example, Star Wars resonates on such a, a mass, mass level. Great storytellers know the hero's journey instinctually or, um, or you know, by studying it. And it works. It works. There's thousands of years of proof. So many of the great stories that have come down through generations, even before there was written language or when, when story was primarily passed, you know, through, through oral storytelling, they follow this general structure. And what's kind of cool about that is that even though it is this really universal structure for storytelling, there's so much creativity that can exist within the structure that when you sit down and you watch Harry Potter and you sit down and you watch Star Wars, they don't feel like the same movie. You can go back and you can analyze from like film student perspective. Oh yeah, like we can write out this, this silly one page thing and circulate it on the internet about, oh, this is the story and the details of the story of Star Wars. This is the story and the details of the story of Harry Potter. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, that creativity that exists within the structure makes each thing feel unique and the structure makes the uniqueness better, more effective because it allows you, it gives you the framework on which to tell a unique story. And Harry Potter is, is one of many, especially in film adaptation. There's another program and I'll link you to the Joseph Campbell thing and I'll link you to, to this other program. This is an audio program and it was actually the very first thing I got on Audible. Uh, it's called The Hero's Two Journeys by Michael Haig and Christopher Vogler. And it's not actually an audio book, it's an audio program. Um, but they walk through, using The Hero's Journey, how it's not just the external journey that is what's mostly laid out in Joseph Campbell's work. There's also an internal journey that the, that the hero goes on that is the one of emotional maturation and discovery and um, really lays out the milestones along those two journeys and how they run parallel to each other. Um, but the other cool thing about this book is both of those guys, Michael Haig and Christopher Olga, or this audio program, both of those guys are Hollywood uh, script consultants and screenwriters who have, um, who, who have their fingers in a whole lot of popular movies. And so we know that the hero's journey is something that Hollywood and other great storytellers use in order to tell better, more compelling stories. Um, and, and yeah, it's not, not the only plot outline that you could follow, but it is a pretty good one. There are also unique outlines for romance, for comedy, for mystery, etc. But the thing is, like, if you really break those down and focus on the principles and like the, the, the emotional arc and everything of the, those stories as well, you'll probably find that there's a lot of parallels to the hero's journey. Now, um, all of this to say, all of this to say, uh, the hero's journey is a great way to tell stories. Uh, I actually find that there's a little bit of a different hero's journey for story selling. And I know some copywriters use the hero's journey as like inspiration or a guide for writing copy, for writing selling messages. Um, but there's, there is a slightly different hero's journey that I really prefer when it comes to selling. Um, and, and that is because storytelling and story selling are not exactly the same. Story selling is about more than just the story. It's based on the three pillars of, of highly effective story selling. As I teach in my story selling masterclass and the ultimate selling story book, story, you have to get the story right. Character, you have to convey an attractive character. And selling, you have to make sales arguments. You have to move the selling process forward. And so story selling, you're looking to nail those three things 
and your story templates like should really be adapted into selling stories. So the, the hero's journey may not be the best story template. My hero's journey of story selling is my Paisa formula. Problem, like the prospect has a problem. Agitation, there's emotional agitation of the problem being unsolved. Invalidation, looking at potential solutions and, and some work, some don't. Uh, the s solution discovered, there's actually a solution like the criteria of an effective solution and then an action taken, an action that gets the result, which usually for the, the, the actual sales process is asking them to take action and buy the product or service. And so when you take that same approach of like, what is the hero's journey of story selling, that universal selling story, that's a pretty darn good one, right? And the problem doesn't have to be a problem, it can be an unfulfilled desire, but still it's fundamentally the same structure. And so if you wanna get better at that, if you wanna learn more, check out the links in the description. Of course, I'll link you through to the Ultimate Selling Story, or you can just type in ultimatesellingstory.com. That is currently only available through Amazon. So that's where that'll take you to. Um, I will also include those links to The Hero's Two Journeys by Michael Haig and Christopher Vogler, as well as The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell. All of them are great works. Um, yeah, I'm Roy Fur. This is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Every day, in every episode, I'm here trying to help you increase your marketing genius. And sometimes, hey, that's about telling better selling stories. I will catch you again in the next episode. I'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.